Hey everybody and welcome to my video about semantic UI React. I'll start with actually talking about the end. What resources am I giving you at the end of this video? So first, I'm giving you this video, Introduction to Semantic UI React, and then I've given you also a GitHub project with Semantic UI React sample I have prepared up front. So this is the React application that I have prepared before with semantic UI React samples. You can see here the buttons, labels, messages, forms, lists, menus, tables. I can scroll, sort this, also this, steps like in uh, shipping, billing, cards, and grids. Now this sample I've put on my GitHub. And it's here. And you will get the link In this place. I will also share uh, this presentation with you at SlideShare. This presentation includes all the slides that you see here, sample code, component, elements, And I will share with you a GitHub project with the sample that I will do in this video. And I will also give you a link to my React course, Learn React in a Better Way at reduced price. So this is resources that I'm giving you. And the uh, the first question that you might ask yourself is why do developers actually choose semantic UI? Because there are also other UI libraries like Bootstrap, Material Design. Uh, so when I was looking, trying to answer this question myself, I found that developers choose semantic UI because it's easy to use and it looks re elegant. It has a lot of component because of the themes. It has out of the box widget and it's semantic. So you can see this link over here and this is what people told about semantic UI and regarding this video is about semantic UI React. So you can see that semantic UI React, this is semantic UI React, has almost 230,000 weekly downloads. So it is quite popular. And if you're working with React, this might suit your needs very well. Okay, so Semantic UI is a graphic library for web application and Semantic UI React, as you probably understand but yourself, is the integration of Semantic UI into React. And 
there are a few concepts about semantic UI React, but I think the most important are this one. First concept is that semantic UI React is jQuery free. jQuery free means there are no direct DOM access. And this is crucial for React because in React, you don't manipulate the, the DOM yourself. You are manipulating the virtual DOM. And the DOM, the real DOM is manipulated by React. So this is important. The second important concept is declarative API. So if you want a, a rating, then you are using a rating component. So this is also a concept of React. And the last concept that um, is familiar from React is sub subcomponent. Okay, so you can have one component that contain other components. So these three concepts are already known from React and I will not talk about the other three augmentation, shorthand props and auto controlled state, but these are concept of semantic UI React. Maybe we'll get to this at the end. Um, you cannot learn anything without good documentation. And the documentation of semantic React, semantic UI React is simply one of the best that I've ever seen. So if you go to the documentation, first you will see this concept here, one that I've talked about. And on the left, you will see a list of the component they have divided it to few groups, elements. Here you have simple elements like button, flag, icon, image. Then you have collection like grid, table, and menu. Then you have views with component like comment and modules with component like checkbox, um, behaviors, and add-ons. So this is on the left side. It's very easy to scroll. And if you want to look, for example, on button, then you are looking on the center and the right hand side. So you can see here, you can see here that there are a lot of samples about buttons. And uh, you can see a sample of button here. You see that when I go with the mouse, the background is changing. So you can see the code here. This is You see here button, and this button is a component in semantic UI React. But if you look here on show HTML, then you will see that this button component is actually what you probably known from HTML. This is button element. And to use this styling, you use class. Class UI button is a class that is, is used on semantic UI. So this is very convenient because if you like React, then you probably like its component concept. And here all the UI that you are working with is actually components. Button is a component. Uh, flag, okay? flag is a component okay so this is very convenient so um documentation really one of the best i've ever seen we saw component element collection views we've seen it and we have seen per component the documentation 
And it is important to understand that you does not need to know CSS to use semantic UI or semantic UI React, but you can use CSS with semantic UI React and it is helpful to know CSS when you come to semantic UI and when you come to, for sure, when you come to semantic UI React. Okay, other slides we will get maybe at the end of the, at the end of this, but now what I want to do is to create React project and to install Semantic UI React. <clears throat> 